What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B-Hop Radio. Shout in as always. I got my podcast partner off in this thing. The original hot boy himself. Turk, what up, though? Man, Colin, Colin, what it do? Y'all already know what it is. When them hot boys reunite. <laughs> night. <laughs> night. Yeah, man. It's going down, man. Saturday, B. What? Saturday, man. Yeah, real, real, real close, man. I can't wait, bro. I mean, how's that phone been doing, sir? Man, my phone been ringing crazy, man. Emails, I don't know how they get my email, but they been emailing, DMing, Facebooking, YouTubing, Instagramming, <laughs> Snapchatting, you know what I'm saying? And been calling my niggas. phone, man. It's yeah. like, bro, it's crazy though, man. But I just want everybody to know, bro, if I could get everybody that have been calling me in this Hot Boys reunion, I would. You know what I'm saying? It's people that have made up in their mind that I don't rock with them no more because Damn. of this hot boy reunion. I don't know where they coming up with that. I'm the same person, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Y'all changing. I'm Come the on. same individual. You feel me? Sometimes, man, you have to really like have an open mind and understand. Wait, hold up. I know a lot of people contacting this man. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me not make no assumptions and just let me ask for what I want and maybe I can probably get ahead of everybody else. But yeah. a lot of people want to make assumptions. And right now, B, I don't have time to be stressing and worried about what people assuming and being negative about. Yeah. Man, I'm about to reunite with my brothers, man. You feel me? Well, no, we're going to get more into that. But now I want to ask you about your reaction to Dirk's indictment, man. Yeah. I mean, when you saw that going on, what was going through your mind when that happened, sir? Man, I ain't lying, bro. Like, whenever you see somebody that's that talented and successful, man, have to go through due process, it's just a, a, a bad time, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, man got a family. Man got a fiancé. Man got you know, kids. I just seen him go to um, Disney World, I believe, yeah. with all his kids reuniting with his son that he wasn't in touch with. I heard, you know what I'm saying? Um, getting the key to the city, um, doing a concert in Chicago and putting all those boys on a big moral picture, like, you know, you know, um, getting into Muslim, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Basically trying to do a, a turnaround of his life, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, all of a sudden you get, bam, you feel me? Yeah. It's like, long as y'all think I'm doing wrong, ain't nothing going down. But soon I try to change my life and promote peace. Damn. No, we don't want you to have none of that going on. We about to stop that and hit you with this here. You feel me? Because we still going to remind you that we are in control. So it's just crazy, bro. Like, man, I I, I felt bad for, for, for homie, bro. Uh, based off of what you've been seeing so far, do you think he's going to be able to get out or do you think it's about to get real in the field, man? It's always real in the field when you get that indictment, you know, but – with great lawyers and, you know, the great God above, man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a right to due process. And even though it may look bad, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, beyond a reasonable doubt, man, is a hard thing to prove. You feel me? Yeah. And these prosecutors be wanting people so bad. You know, until they'll do anything and everything, man, to get a person. You feel me? So you really just got to go through that situation, a due process. You know what I'm saying? You go and you you plead guilty or not guilty. You do the arraignment. You know what I'm saying? Then you go through the motions and try to get this thrown out and that thrown out and that suppressed and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Before you go get judged by 12. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And um, he got a due process for that. You know, um... It's supposed to take six months, but sometimes, you know, they'll stretch that into a year, mm -hmm. two years, three years you, before you even go to trial. You know, um, you got a bond hearing. You feel me? He got to try to get his bond. But from the looks of that, you know, they trying to say he was trying to get out the country and this and this and that. That basically trying to shut down, you know, the 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 fact of him trying to get a bond right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Like they out for blood, bro. And when you successful and you our color, man, you know what I'm saying? And you not making wise decision. Not saying he didn't make wise decision. 
bro, any slip, man, you know what I'm saying? They gonna capitalize off it. So anybody that's out there that's looking and they watching your favorite artists, you know what I'm saying? Like Jock said, he say, you know, it's the demise. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't gonna call it a demise because sometimes it could be a revise. You feel me? Like only God can judge you. I believe that, and I just feel like you know what I'm saying. He gonna be all right, man. Whatever it may be, I I, I believe he know what it is. You feel me? Now, dealing with this Young Thug trial and other news right now, one of his co-defendants just took a plea deal to go ahead and just get it over with. I mean, how do you think that's going to impact the trial? Do you think Thug, them deals are going to be able to be revised so that they can get out earlier? Or what do you think is going on with all of Man, this Man, I think it's a lot of ego, you know, when it comes to Thug case. And to me, I've been watching the case for 100 and some days, bro, just being real, you know. Like, I'm in tune to it. And... The proof is not in a pudding, man. They haven't proved anything mm. to me. You know what I'm saying? Being a person who then went through a state trial and a federal trial, it's beyond a reasonable doubt. And, you know, you haven't proved anything on Jeffrey, bro. Like, yeah. none of those guys. It's a lot of circumstantial evidence. You know mm. what I'm saying? Even though y'all saying y'all got this witness took this and that witness took that and you have this, this, that. It's like they trying to put together something, you know what I'm saying? And it's pride and it's ego, you know. I'm quite sure they came with something to plea those rest of those dudes out, but those dudes don't want to do no time. Even though they sit, a lot of people say, well, you're doing time anyway. It's not the same when you sitting in there and you knowing that, nah, man, this ain't it. This mm -hmm. ain't hitting. You feel me? If I take this, man, I'm guaranteed to sit down for however many years that the judge announced. You feel me? And I don't know, bro. They in a rock and a hard place, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, man, you know, only the good love and, and, and they know what's in their heart the best to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with that being said, just hip-hop in general, man, I mean, with Dirk, going down right now thug going through his trial lucha so many folks i mean we can't even name them all man yeah. what do you feel about the state of the game right now diddy i mean everybody's being taken down bro it's come we got to start holding ourselves accountable you know for our actions as well we can't always blame it on the system yeah. you know what i'm saying because bro i've been home 12 years yeah you know what i'm saying and i've been out the way you know when i went to jail man i was 22 years old I had got 22 years yeah. you know what I'm saying and I vowed to not even do the same thing be around the same people be around the same places or things you know yeah. you have to make those choices yeah when you don't do that man like it's a lot come with that bro mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't be wanting to just say it but we have to fault ourselves, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It ain't the state of hip hop. It's the state of a man mindset. You feel yeah. me? And we have to hold ourselves accountable, bro. And a lot of people don't be wanting to hear it, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, these people going to do their job. And sometimes they going to overdo their job. And don't talk about when it's election time. They really going to try to do their job. And they going to make sure they do it whether it be done right or sloppy. You feel me? Yeah. And you might be the victim of that you know mm. but if you moving right and you doing the right things man you making the right choices you don't have to worry about that because you're not gonna be a victim of it you feel yeah, me yeah 